Hi, this is Ray, and I just found this really interesting little game called NetWalk available at LogicGamesOnline.com, and I thought I'd give a bit of a walkthrough because it's a pretty challenging puzzle, although it looks relatively simple. First thing I'll do here is I'll just start a new game, um, and you know it's a new game because you got the timer going here, and the idea is to connect all of the computers um, to this remote this this line here, and you know they're connected when the line turns solid. Um, couple of hints uh, in, in getting the network going is that uh, because it can't be a closed loop you know that if there is ever a line or a bar I guess we'll call it a bus <laughs> between two computers um, it can't it can't be um, uh, connect them directly otherwise that would be a closed loop uh, one of the things you see on the screen is the target number of moves in this case 72 moves so the challenge I guess is to solve the puzzle in that target number of moves um, once you know that a bar is in the right direction, you just click the space bar, um, and that one is essentially locked. Um, otherwise, you can right-click to turn it clockwise, or left-click to turn it counterclockwise. Um, so let's just see. So the idea is to uh, not have any closed loops. So the first thing to do when I look at a new screen is to um, look for any bars uh, that are straight that are between uh, two computers, and you know, you know automatically what direction they go in. So here are two computers here um, so you know that the bar has to has to be in, in the horizontal direction so you can I'll lock that one in by clicking the space bar. Um, let's see what else we could find here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll stop the clock on the video every once in a while so that you don't have to uh, see, see me uh, go through the logic and then I'll explain what the logic was. Oh, I guess first things first um, this one here this computer here you know has to connect to that bus so I'll left click to I shift it counterclockwise, then I'll lock it in. Um, this one here, this space right here, right now, you know that you can't, you won't be able to connect here uh, because that computer is already connected that way. So you know that this bar is either going to go this way or this way. Um, so what that tells you is that there's going to be a connection here. Knowing that, um, you can actually. Uh, go to this one here and know that this one is going to be vertical. So you can lock that one up, lock that one in, lock that one in. Um, now you have a parallel, you have a line here, so you know that this bar here can't connect this way. So they they connect across a screen. So there's another another cr another thing to know. Um, so what that means is that um, you can't have uh, a connection here. So the only way this one could go is by rotating this one. Um, clock counterclockwise uh, one degree so I'll make that happen uh, and I'll lock that one in now you know that this computer connects to that one so I'll rotate it counterclockwise by right clicking lock that one in um, what else do I know here now uh, I know that this bar needs to connect here so I'll rotate it lock it in this computer has to connect to this bar now um, this computer can't uh, whoops this part that bar couldn't connect to this computer uh, so we know it couldn't go there, so it had to be this way. Now, whenever there's two direct lines together, um, or straight lines together, they have to be in the same direction. So lock back, rotate that, lock it, rotate that, lock it, lock that one in there. Um, now this one here, um, you know that it needs to connect here, you know that it can't connect that way, so it needs to connect that way, so you rotate it counterclockwise, lock it in. Um, this one needs to connect there, rotate it clockwise. This one uh, can't connect to this computer here, so we can rotate it, uh, connect it that way. Um, this one here, we know that that's the right way because it can't connect here to this edge, it can't connect to that edge, so we know that it, it, it's, it's the right direction. Um, this one here can't go right, um, but it has to connect there, so we know that it's in the right direction. Now these two need to connect together, so we'll double click to get that uh, the, that hooked up. Um, these two uh, need to connect, so we'll click, we'll rotate that one click and get that, uh, get that hooked up. Um, we can't connect to this edge or this edge, so this one is in the right direction, so we'll click it. Uh, now we know that this bar needs to be horizontal. Click it. Uh, this one uh, needs to be horizontal as well. Um, this one can't have a connection on this bar because this bar is horizontal, so we don't, we'll turn it. Um, uh, and this same thing with this one where this we can't have a connection here because this one is horizontal so we know that's the right way. Um, this bar now needs to connect here so we'll rotate it and, lo and lock it in. 
Uh, we need to have a connection here, and we know we can't go this way. Um, so we'll, we'll shift that, um, rotate that kind of clockwise, lock. Now we know that this bar needs to be horizontal, so we'll click it. Uh, now we have a connection there, there, uh, but not there. Um, so we can rotate that one clockwise, counterclockwise, I guess. This computer needs to connect to that bus. Um, this one can't have a connection on this bar, so we can rotate that clockwise Oops. and lock it in. Uh, we know this bar now needs to be vertical because there's a connection there. Oops. Um, we know that there can't be connection here or here, so this one needs to be 90 degrees clockwise. Lock it in. Now that we know that, we know it can't go this way, so we'll rotate it to 90 degrees, and we know that's the way that one goes. This computer connects to that bus, so lock it in there.